a trickle-down effect caused by a lack of trickling water. We had called a well person that the water table is dropping, and it was steadily dropping. That does not happen. That's not normal. Kelly Johnson and her family rely on their water well to wash dishes, take showers, and, of course, flush toilets. Thursday evening, uh, I had no water. That was Thursday, May 20th, and while some neighbors' water supply briefly came back Monday, it's back off again, marking the 10th day since issues started here. No laundry, no showers, no dishwasher, no able to do dishes, no nothing. They ordered shower bags just to stay clean. Her neighbors are having the same problem. We've uh, gathered a lot of bottled water. I got uh, a good enough neighbor next to me who still has a well. I'm able to get water from him. Water the Richies need to feed their animals. Their backyard oasis, now an outhouse. It's probably the most unnerving feeling I've ever had. And what else is unnerving? The mystery of why it all happened. I've been doing this 44 years and I have not seen that exact thing before, no. So it's very strange. Well, Inspector David Brown is stumped. The only solutions? Yeah. Replacing the well or drilling deeper for water, both of which cost a pretty penny. You're probably going to be averaging, you know, around $5,000 to redrill. The families reached out to Summerfield town officials and Rockingham County officials for help with repairs. After they got nowhere, I called town and county leaders and learned that these are not municipal wells, so the responsibility is on the homeowners.